Hey, so check it out. If you were wondering if the Coconut Castaway by Dr. Squatch was any good or not, well, guess what? In this video, I'm actually going to be reviewing the Coconut Castaway by Dr. Squatch. So let's drop the music and get into our review. Welcome back to the channel. This is Natural Soap Man as always. Thank you so much for taking some of your time to watch this review with me. As I said before, we're going over the Coconut Castaway by Dr. Squatch. Now, I don't think this is a limited edition. It doesn't say, but it could be. Um, not quite sure. Usually they'll say something, but either way, we're going to go over it, right? Uh, now, this is going to be basically a little bonus review. I'm going to Vegas uh, in the next couple of days here, but I could help myself. <laughs> I've been sitting on this soap for a little minute now, and I was like, I gotta get this out here. So, uh, just couldn't help myself. So, consider this a bonus review for the week before I'm going. First thing first, we have the typical Dr. Squatch box uh, with the turquoise color. I think that's a really pretty color, good choice. Um, the, the soap itself is white with little shreds in there, if you notice, you look at it quickly, that's actually coconut shreds, right? Uh, super cool, that's gonna be your light exfoliator. This is an exfoliating bar. Uh, it has, I would consider basically a light exfoliation, but there is an exfoliation. And just like all their other soaps, this too will come at five ounces. Awesome, now that we know what our soap looks like up close and personal, let's go ahead and move on to the ingredients. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and pose those ingredients on the screen for us to check those out. Now, at this point, I feel like most of you are probably very familiar with Dr. Squatch at this point. Uh, I know most of you are big fans. And uh, at this point, you kind of recognize that Dr. Squatch does follow this very uh, similar formula with all their soaps, right? You get your three fatty oils, the coconut, olive, and the sustainable palm oil. You follow by with shea butter. Um, and then you either get a couple essential oils, you'll get some type of colorant. Um, uh, then you might get like, uh, depending on the soap, some type of different exfoliator, right? If it has one or not, eh, kind of the same trend, right? And that appears to be the same case here with the coconut castaway with an obvious emphasis on coconut, right? For a little obvious reasons, uh, going for a little tropical theme here, right? We got the coconut water, coconut milk, and you've got some coconut shreds to give it a light exfoliation. Um, and you follow with a titanium dioxide. Not the biggest fan of that. Um, doesn't really serve you any purpose. It's just for cosmetic purposes here. Titanium dioxide is a um, basically a synthetic, uh, it's a dye, right? It's what gives it that bright white color. Titanium dioxide is super common in the cosmetic industry. It basically gives the product this really bright white color. However, titanium dioxide is not known to be toxic or anything like that, uh, at least it, I found no research to say that it is toxic or anything like that. So if you're someone who's, who doesn't necessarily care if your soap's all natural, as long as it's natural, right? I think you should be fine. I don't think you have anything, I don't think you have to worry about any toxic uh, ingredients here. First things first, let's get the obvious out the way. Yes, the coconut castaway, in fact, does smell like coconut. <laughs> if you don't like coconut, you, you should probably pass on this one. You know, I'm gonna save you a lot of time. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you next time, but yeah, if you don't like coconut, you're not gonna like this soap. I, I'd maybe stay away. Uh, but to go a little deeper into the scent, you definitely have a tropical, a very pina colada uh, smelling soap. Very, It's very rich, it's, it's sweet, uh, plays with that coconut a lot. Um, very smooth. I was very surprised how smooth the soap is. Very gentle, uh, tranquil even, if you will. Uh, sort of plays on all these things. It's, it's actually not bad. I actually was surprised how much I really like the smell here. Uh, Cause I'm typically, I don't wanna say I hate coconut, I'm picky. I'm picky when it comes to coconut, especially the taste. I'm not the biggest fan of the way coconut tastes, but I'm picky, right? There's some, it's, it depends how it's done, right? Uh, I don't outright hate it, but I don't love it either. In fact, the last thing I'll say here before moving on, uh, I think if you're going on vacation, right, like tropical vacation or anything like that, or the beach, or you know, just you know, just going out, whatever, whatever that means, uh, I think this would be perfect for that. It really would. It does have. It has such a tropical vibe to it. It screams vacation. I really do believe that Coconut Castaway was made for people going on a summer vacation. 
All right, my friends, now we talked a little bit about how the soap smells. Let's go do a lather test. We'll come back and we'll do some concluding thoughts. So let's start wrapping up the video, start going over a couple things here and start doing some final thoughts. Unsurprisingly, had a really nice lather. I don't think I've ever had a soap by Squatch that didn't have a nice lather. I will say that their soaps typically always uh, will give you a really nice lather. In true Squatch tradition, we're gonna get the five ounces for $7. Now, if you're a subscriber, I think you can maybe a little cheaper, save what, I think it's like 15%, something like that. And uh, get free shipping handling if you become a subscriber. Maybe even throw a coupon in there, right? Save a little bit more money. But either way, $7, five ounces. Now when it comes to ingredients, for the most part it's fine. Nothing was toxic or anything like that. Um, only two things we gotta just sort of keep an eye on is obviously the titanium dioxide. Not a big fan of it. It doesn't really do anything um, and you don't need it. I, I'm not, I don't understand why companies feel the need to add that. I think, I think, soaps, I think the soaps look pretty naturally. That's just me. I, I just don't, I'm not a big fan of it. And a natural fragrance, you know, natural fragrance is could could be legit, could be, um, but sometimes, especially in like bigger companies, a lot of times that could just be semantics where they'll have a couple natural fragrance oils and they'll mix that with like some synthetic components and things like that. So just keep an eye on that. I'm not saying that's what it is. Just uh, it does happen. It is a thing. So it's just something you gotta be uh, be aware of for sure. Now I only bring that up for people who are you know more concerned about being all natural. Um, but if you're not, like that's not a big thing for you, I think you're fine. I think, I don't, I don't see anything here that uh, causes like immediate pause, like any uh, red flags or anything like that. So I think you'd be fine. Now the scent of the coconut castaway was actually surprisingly delightful. I actually enjoyed the way this one smelled. I'm typically not a super big fan of these type of sweet smelling soaps, but man, I have to admit, this was actually really nice. I really enjoyed the tropical sort of vibe, the pina colada thing. Right, I don't really come across those type of soaps, so I guess it was like just something different, and I really enjoyed that. I couldn't help but think, like, man, this would just be the perfect soap if you were like going on some type of tropical vacation or just going to the beach or something like that. I just couldn't help but feel that way. Like, this would be the soap for that. That'd be really cool. Now, if we're speaking purely performance. I never had an issue with Dr. Squatch's soaps. I've said this many times in the past, but I've reviewed so many of them. Um, I, I always found them to do well, right? I never had an issue. I never experienced any redness, dryness, or uh, any irritation or anything like that. My skin always felt nice and smooth after. Um, yeah, I, I really have no complaint when it comes to the performance of the soap itself. So in, in that case, I think as, tip, as usual, actually, um, I squash the little soaps do really well for me. All right, so my final recommendation for here is that one, I think you need to know if you like coconut or not. Like that's question one. If you don't, probably stay away. If you do like coconut, I think you would like this one actually. I think you really, really like it. Now, if you're someone who really cares about being all natural, like you really want your souls to be more all natural, I don't think this is the one. I think you might wanna look somewhere else. This is clearly not an all natural soap. However, uh, I if you're someone who's kind of willing to bend a little bit here, because there's nothing toxic or anything like that, not that I know of at least, um, I think you'd be fine. I think it's still natural enough, right? Um, so I think at the end of the day, if you're willing to bend, you like coconut, and you're looking for something a little different, you like that tropical vibe, maybe you're going on vacation or something like that, dude, 
yeah, give this one a gander. It's actually surprisingly quite delightful, I have to admit. Uh, coming from someone who's typically not a fan of these soaps, I, I think this one's, yeah. I, do, I th now, do I think it's something where you get all the time? Probably not, but I do think it's something worth experiencing here and there. But there you have it, my friends. That is my review of Dr. Squatch's Coconut Castaway. I hope you got something out of review, and hopefully that helps you make a good decision whether you're going to get it or not. Either way, guys, I will definitely see you in a couple weeks from now, right? Uh, wish me luck. I cannot wait to go to Vegas. I can't wait for this to learn a lot. I'm really excited about it. I'll be out there for roughly, mm, roughly a week. Uh, come back. Till then, guys, you guys take care of yourselves. Be safe. And as always, stay natural, my friends. Cool